Hey everyone, I hope everyone's getting through this, uh, being secluded at home. I'm used to it. I've been at home, my gosh, forever it seems like. I've, my first baby was at 17. I'm kind of talking funny because I have, I noticed I looked in the mirror and my teeth were a little yellow from all the tea and coffee I've been drinking. Um, so I put the white strips in. So I'm just gonna go over a couple things that I find that helps me. Um, I've been reading a lot about the, the virus and it hates warm, uh, anything warm. Heat, the sun will kill it. So I brush my teeth with warm water. Gargle, that'll kill it if it's sitting in your throat. They say, um, if you can get sit out in the sun, uh, that'll kill it if it's on your clothes or if you order a package and the UPS guy delivers it or FedEx, leave it outside. It lives on cardboard for I think up to 12 to 24 hours. I can't remember, but I leave mine outside. And if I do take it in, I open it up, throw the box in the garage and wash my hands. I've been ordering a lot of things online, not a lot, but I usually don't buy anything. But um, JC Penney's was having this amazing sale on sweaters. I don't really wear sweaters. I'm a hooded sweatshirt kind of a girl, super casual. Um, but this sweater, if you can see it, it was, let me see. I thought it was really cute. It was it's camo so I can wear it up at my land, four wheeling or whatever. I thought it was cute, go for a walk. It was only like $6. It's a cardigan button. So I think they still have those, but I ordered four sweaters. So to get through the day, the monotony of the day, staying home, which I have no problem doing. I love being home and cleaning and that's why I started my channel. Um, so in the morning when I wake up about 7.30, I immediately put on my workout clothes. Feed the animals, get their water, fresh water. I have three cats in the house, do their water, litter. Um, my husband lets the dogs out, so he does the dogs. Um, then I make my bed. Well, then I put coffee on while well, that's perking. Make my husband breakfast. I don't eat right away, so I just make him maybe an omelet, quick, easy omelet. Um, today he had waffles and then he has coffee and then I throw a lunch together and then he goes to work and then I he comes home about 5 30 so I have the entire day to myself I don't have young kids anymore I had four they all left me um, not that I'm mad about it and then I make my bed make your bed every day unless you're sick then stay in bed that's my motto tidy up your house uh, do the living room, Swiffer the floor, make sure your dishwasher, empty that, put in a load of laundry if you need to. And then I started, I can't go to the casino. I have another slot channel called Babes Slots. Um, I have a lot of subscribers uh, considering, well, I think I have 167 subscribers on Babes Slots. Um, I videotape us going to Vegas, my mom and I, and going to the local casinos and winning jackpots and things like that. That's just a fun little side hobby. Anyway, the casinos are closed due to the virus. So I've been buying stocks. Mm -hmm. So I saw on YouTube this one guy, um, he just caught my eye and I thought, I'm just gonna look at this for a second. He told me to go, I downloaded this app called Robinhood. It's so easy, so I transferred money from my savings to the stock, um, just that app. It's just, you set it up, it's one swipe, you swipe up. Anyway, I've been buying some stocks because the stock market is really down. And remember, buy low, sell high, so it's low. Anyway, that's been fun. Um, 
So just doing that, that's been keeping me occupied and it's pretty fun to look at how much you made. I think I made, I think I have like 600 invested. I made $78 just yesterday in the stock market. I think my savings account is like 1% if even, so that money was just sitting there anyway. Don't tell my husband, he doesn't know I did that. It's, I don't really think it's not any of his business. Um, it's not, I'm having fun. It's me that makes a difference, me. Just kidding. No, no, not. So then I, um, by, for sure by 11, 11 o'clock, I get on the treadmill, no matter what. Usually that, if I look at the clock and it's like 1030, I'm like, oh shoot, I have to hurry up, swim for the floor, do what I need to do. And I get on the, uh, not the treadmill, stair stepper for 20 minutes. Um, it's a tough little stair stepper. That's no joke. Yeah, I sweat. And then after that, I do my push-ups on the dresser. I just do like 20, 25, just hold, push, just to get my arms in the back. I hate that when you have back fat where your bras can't stay on it. So I've been doing push-ups. I get on the ground, I do some sit-ups and crunches and stretch for like five minutes. And the entire workout is probably 35 minutes, but it feels good, I can tell. Um, I smoked a little bit. I don't smoke anymore, ever. Um, not even casually. It's been a couple weeks. Um, because I heard that people who smoke the coronavirus, uh, they're more susceptible to die if you're a smoker. So I'm like, oh, no, not smoking. So that was easy for me to not smoke. Um, and then after I work out, I shower, do my hair, put on some makeup so I feel like a human being. I can't stand when I don't fix myself up because it's ugly. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I try to look halfway decent for myself and when my husband walks in the door. <clears throat> then I figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. Tonight, tonight I'm making shrimp fettuccine. I have to take the shrimp out, it's frozen. So by then, after showering, putting my makeup, so it's about 12.30. Um, then I go back and look at, I've been looking at the stock market, see where my stocks are, buying more if I feel the need or something looks really good to me. Um, I then go outside, if weather permitting, and take the dogs for a walk. Um, I have a two mile walk. It's a mile one way and then a mile back. So I like to do that. Um, when it's nicer out, I do a five mile bike ride every day. It takes about a half hour and there's hills. I live in Wisconsin, so it's really hilly and it's right by the river, it's really pretty. So I'm not really worried about the coronavirus. I'm glad that people are taking it seriously and staying inside. And I don't go to the grocery store, I do Instacart. And when I bring the groceries in, unpack, then I wash my hands. So um, that's been working for me. I am in a rural area. Uh, there's, I'm in the country, but 20 miles east of St. Paul, but I'm in the country still, a rural area and we still have Instacart. I would recommend anyone anyone to use Instacart. It's fabulous. And I've gotten toilet paper from Instacart. I'm not fighting anyone or all-star wrestling anyone for toilet paper. I would never do that. And if I had to, I'd probably win anyway. I don't know. I would just want to touch anyone to wrestle. Um, so don't panic. You know, do what you can do. Get outside, work out. Take this time to start being healthy. I'm going to start doing a video on my windows. I make a map of each window in the house. I just do one a day, and I make a map of all the drawers in my house, every room. Every room has drawers, a map of the drawers, and I do one a day, exit off. So I'm gonna start that April 1st. That's when I start. Um, I don't really like yard work. Or gardening I have one tulip and I think 
It should be coming up, but I think someone ran it over with lawnmower. So this uh, fall, I may have to plant one more tulip. That's my garden. Um, I have a big yard, a pond. And yeah, I'm not an outside girl. I, I mowed the lawn one time on the rider, one time. And my husband and his friend were drinking beer, sitting in the driveway watching me. And I mowed, I was on there for three hours. Uh, the blade wasn't down. I didn't know that. I thought I was going, the tracks were like matting down the lawn. So I thought, oh yeah, that's where I go again. Rows and rows and rows, hours and hours. Nope, forgot to put the damn blade down, but you know what? <sighs> now I don't have to mow the grass anymore, huh? Pretty smart, yep. So take it easy, you guys. Stay inside, do Instacart. Um, take a look at the stock market. Don't leave the house unless you have to. Don't even go to the library. I know. I have this book and I'm not even going to return it because who wants, I don't even know how long it's, if it stays on cardboard for 24 hours, it'll stay in a library book if someone has it. So just uh, take it easy and we'll talk soon. Uh, the day goes by, if you feel good, the day goes by fast if you have like a set routine, cleaning in the morning, working out, doing your makeup, um, having, make yourself a salad for lunch, preparing dinner, make cookies, you know, do whatever. But don't panic. This will all be back to normal before you know it if everyone stays put. Um, don't go to Florida, to the beach. We had to cancel our Las Vegas vacation, um, which was April 11th. We were counting down the days and then it's like, ah, oh, shoot. But we all have to do our part. Uh, President Trump is doing a fabulous job. Oh my God, what a man, what a man. Huh. We all look to him for support. I guess he's sending everyone a check. I mean, I don't know, amazing. He's so calm and let's all be calm and pray for our president, pray for the country. I pray at nine o'clock every night um, I'm in central time, so I think if everyone prays at 9 o'clock, if you remember, I think pray for our country, pray for our president. I think this will all be gone. Yep, I think we should do that. So on that note, everyone take care. Wash your hands. Do your laundry. Another tip. So wash your clothes every day. Don't wear your jeans twice. Don't wear your sweatshirt. Throw them in the wash. Do hot water. Kill that invisible enemy. So that's my tip. And that's my routine. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again. I'm Kath Kathleen. I'm really Kathleen. Kathleen, like and subscribe. And any comments or suggestions about what you guys are doing day to day, let me know. Love you guys, see you later, and we'll talk really soon. Thanks, bye-bye.